Hi everybody and welcome back to the Intuitive Photo Stylist. So here's video two that I have decided to post today. Um, it's one of my Christmas presents that my mom has gotten me. I've done a lot of automatic writing with myself, by myself, and with my uh, Reiki master. So I keep being told that like I need to work with the ancestors. I need to work with my ancestors. I need to heal past trauma, uh, past life trauma, just trauma from my childhood, trauma from my teenage years. So trauma from college. Um, so talking about that, my mom, she got me this book, which I did ask for, so she didn't just intuitively know, but she, she kind of did. Um, so, oh my gosh, my hair. Um, so it's called Ancestral Tarot. It is Uncover Your Past and Chart Your Future by Nancy Hendrickson. Um, it's really cool. I absolutely love it so far. I've only gotten to the first spread really about, um, like, what ancestors do you want to work with? And Nancy has three different ancestors uh, labeled out. You have your ancestors by blood, ancestors by place, and ancestors by time. So she has a spread that you do um, to see what ancestors and what are they going to give you. So <laughs> she even has like places in here where you can journal um, your answers. So I did it. And I'm, again, still learning tarot. I'm still using my Lucid Dreams tarot deck, which I'm going to do a review on. Um, so, yeah. So, it's really cool. And I, again, I write out a lot. So, this is this is my page. Um, she gives you ample space to write out things. So, I kind of wrote out what I needed to do. So, my ancestors of blood, to me, are my grandparents. Um, my grandmothers, my paternal grandmother died last year my maternal grandmother died like 15 years ago 20 years ago 20 years ago but she's always been around me like I know that they're always here like I was kind of getting like sassy vibes when I was doing this from them because I was like you guys are always here like I know I can always for like I know that you're here for me if I need it but the cards I pulled funny enough for my ancestors of blood is the four of wands um, which on here is homecoming, celebration, 11-11, family, gatherings, belonging, unity. And I'm like, okay, guys. And then the impact card um, of what it would impact in my life right now at this time is the lovers. Um, which is funny because it's divine love, deep soul connection, harmony, choices, relationships, value, alignment, unions, balance. Um, my husband and I are talking about having a child. Uh, so I kind of thought it was funny that those were the two cards that I got from my blood ancestors. Um, next is Ancestors of Place, which was, I got the Six of Wands, um, which is success, public recognition, achievement, confidence, victory, awarded, triumph, praise, reward. So I was like, okay, like that's cool. And then the impact card I got for that was strength. So they'll give me strength in helping with my passion, with my inner influence, with inner strength, with self-love, with unconditional love and courage. So I was like, okay, that definitely like resonates. And then the second spread I got was the ancestors of time and the four of swords um, which is rest, relaxation, meditation, renewal, healing, self-protection, solitude, peace. And then the impact card I got from that was six of pentacles. And it's so funny because on here it literally just says giving and receiving, help, material help, gratitude, charity, sharing wealth, generosity, and support and community. So I kind of went in and I was like, okay, so wands are passion, swords are mental, um, you know, and then I wrote down like fours are structure and foundation, six are harmony, calm and peace. So I was like, okay, I think what needs to happen is instead of working with just one of them, I need to work with both in different formats. So ancestors of place is going to be in this space, helping me in my blog, helping me in my Instagram, helping me with photography, helping me with my passion, trying to really deep down, like delve deep and figure out what am I super passionate about that's going to make me excited. Because I am a projector and I need excitement to get the energy to do things. So then Ancestors of Time is more so what's going to help me heal. My throat chakra is a disaster. It is a disaster in human design. It is a disaster in the chakra system. It is a disaster when it comes to Reiki. It's a mess. 
I've had so much past life trauma and just trauma of being a projector and the bitterness of talking and not being heard, of not being invited, of not being recognized, not being seen since childhood. Um, so there's a lot of bitterness and there's a lot of stuff going on in my throat and it hurts to try and be in this kind of um, space because I need to talk. I need to, I need to be me. I need to be my authentic self, but I've, I've cut it down so much because of just the out, out forces. So I need to go in. I need to be recovering. I need to be in my own sanctuary of like, this is me. If you're not welcome, if you don't like me, then don't be here. So yeah. So that's kind of what I've decided is I'm going to work with both of them in different concepts. Place will be in this space. So you guys will probably hear me talk about my ancestors of place a lot when it comes to, oh my God, I photographed this because I just had this inclination that I needed to. And that's going to be my ancestors of place helping me. Um, when I talk about my throat chakra and my healing, I have an autoimmune disease. I have Hashimoto's, throat, thyroid. Um, it all makes sense. I have a lot of weird breakings out, breakouts that are happening on my face and my neck, um, which is funny again, because it's all in this space. So yeah, they're going to be helping me with my healing. So if you guys hear me talk about that, that's what it is. This book has been awesome so far and I've just gotten a taste of it. So yeah, so Ancestral Tarot by Nancy Hendrickson um, is awesome so far. And it was a really funny spread because I definitely was getting sass vibes from my grandmothers for being like, I don't really need like my blood ancestors right now. Like they're already here and they're like, wow. Well, thanks. So, so yeah, so place and time. I'm super excited to delve into the spirit guides of both and to see what they have to say. So see you guys next time.